Hi, thanks for clicking on this video. I'm guessing the reason you clicked is because you are certainly where I was uh, a few years ago, where you're like, wait, what is the difference between mobility and joint motor control? So first of all, just to make sure we're all on the same page about what mobility is, it's kind of the combination of flexibility and strength. So for example, putting my leg over my shoulder, right? I could keep my leg muscles pretty relaxed and just use my flexibility of my leg muscles using the strength of my arms only to pull my leg back and place it there. But then if I let it go, the leg flops down. So that's just flexibility. I've got the range of motion, but maybe I don't have the strength. The strength would be to be able to go there without any help from my arms or anything else, okay? And so I'm just gonna assume that you get that. <laughs> and so we'll move on to the difference between mobility and motor control of a joint. So mobility might be simply being able to, let's look at the wrist, move into various ranges of motion flexion and extension, right? You can get there. Cool, I've got the mobility to put my wrists and my fingers into this extension. I'm not just relying on flexibility, okay? But somebody may have the mobility to go into extension and then they can go into flexion. But then in between, maybe it's like, mm, and there's like some shaking, right? Now that's, that's probably unlikely. But what we do begin to see is if you were to hold your, and you can do this with me, hold your hand completely still, keeping the palm facing down, can you make circles? And how much can you go fully into your range of motion without letting the palm flip to one side or the other? And then can you make figure eights? And where do you start to get compensatory movements like are your fingers starting to try and do the movements instead of the movement coming from the wrist do you find that your elbow is wanting to get involved or your shoulder right or do you find that suddenly that extension that you had before is not showing up as soon as you're trying to add in like the figure eight kind of thing. And so if you're doing this, you'll probably feel not just muscles in your hands and forearms going, Rah! but also your brain. Are you feeling a bit like your brain, especially if you do the, your non-dominant hand? It's gonna be like, oh, I feel somehow exhausted here. And so that is the difference between mobility and joint motor control. Now, can you imagine going through something like a figure eight in every single joint of your body, doing it slow and controlled so that you know that you're not compensating, not twisting like I was just doing, and not getting the movement from other nearby joints, but still going fully into your range of motion. Can you imagine how hard, but also how beneficial that could be for your body as a whole? So this is just one of the things that I get like super geeky about and it's what I include in my classes on Move with Adele and it's also part of what I'm teaching in my upcoming Neuro Yoga teacher training. So please let me know if you have any questions at all. It really actually helps me a lot if you reach out to me with questions, things you're not sure about. It helps me understand if I'm not making sense and I need to get better at explaining things or if there's just stuff that I'm missing out or whatever. Plus, I just love hearing.